All right, good morning, guys. We're back with another vlog. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm home. Now, what I wanted to do today was give you guys some updates of, like, how last week went. As you see, my beard is coming in so strong. Like, I think I'm going to leave it at this level uh, because it's, like, a nice... It's like a nice good size it's not too big not too thick the thing is about when you grow your beard out i'm not sure if some of you even go through this but um i have like this huge bump that came out of nowhere the way it's like i've noticed it's like um it come it feels like a pimple but it's not it's just like you know how they show you when acne starts to occur. It's like underneath the skin and it can get caught with like bacteria and hair growth. I'm not saying I don't wash my face. I definitely wash my face, but it happened before the first time as well when I was first growing my hair out like for my facial hair. Whew. So today, uh, I want to give you guys an update about my weight loss so far. Which is pretty good because I'm going to be like surprised how much I lost already in a week. So I'm already down six pounds. Give me my things. Now, what I need to do incorporate, like I said before, is still doing my cardio. Just by changing what I was eating. Excuse me, I have like burps coming like back to back. But honestly, changing what I was eating as far as even having alcohol, not drinking, um, not having so much fried food, because I was enjoying food. And carbs. I had like too many carbs. I know I was. And on top of that, I also treated myself to some ice cream. Not this past week. Like, this is back in like April. So now what I got to do really is just make sure I can keep toning. Um, that's going to, of course, be doing my push-ups abs and working out with my trainer regularly i would not lie to you this morning i definitely overslept and i'm gonna make up um that session tonight uh in the middle of like work so that just means i'll be taking during my lunch break i'll work out with my trainer via zoom in that session um, but today we are going to see about hanging up this hanging plant that i've had in my bedroom for the longest that i don't even think i got to show you guys i showed it on my stories um a long time ago a couple of months ago actually when i had went to target um mind you this is my bedroom regular in the morning this is how the room looks <laughs> uh, nothing super special uh but this is the bowl for the hanging plant and this is the, I think it's called macrame, macrame hanging piece to it. Uh, I'm holding it upside down. So it's supposed to hang this way. So I'm going to put this in here. Literally, I did not make this. People can make these, I don't make them. Uh, I bought it this way from literally Target. I thought it was so cute and it's definitely the vibe that I want in my bedroom. Uh, hopefully it's not tangled because it has just been sitting there for the longest and it just fell Ooh. see if i can fix this <laughs> ow oh ow <laughs> i don't think it's tangled uh, it looks tangled though let me see if i do it this way i don't know y'all okay let me put the bowl in and see what it looks like on the outside moments moments like this what am i doing voila okay i got it untangled so this is how it's supposed to look and I want to put it in the corner uh, I think you guys can see me fine but yeah so the corner over here has always been pretty empty so I thought about if I hang it into the ceiling and let it hang down it will look pretty cute so this is the idea and of course it'll add some more greenery to the room um, what I'm gonna do is I have to drill a hole into the ceiling and that's the part I've been nervous about doing I really wanted someone to do it for me but I watched a video on YouTube on this lady who was giving instructions on how to do it. I have all the pieces really. I just have to find the bag that I put it all in. I think it's up here. Um, and I have my equipment. So I have a drill. Right. 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 <laughs> so this is the drill that I typically use. Um, pretty, pretty decent drill. It's not bad at all. It's a good brand. It's helped me so far. 
let me locate where I put the pieces to hang the plant, but I know I have it somewhere here. I was able to track down my pieces that I needed. Now, I got these pieces months ago from, <laughs> that was a spoon, from Home Depot. So, this is pretty much all that I needed to get my hanging plant to hang in my bedroom, but I've been so nervous about drilling a hole in my ceiling. Honestly, it is what it is, because what I'm gonna do is actually take this piece, and this piece is gonna go into the ceiling, but I have to drill it in to make sure it's sturdy, and it's gonna screw through here with one of these, with this screw, I believe. It's two screws, but one screw goes in, one screw, I have to screw this piece, the hook, into this screw. But this helps support it and stays into the ceiling so it doesn't like fall out or anything. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> this is the first time I'm trying this. Hopefully I do it right. Um, typically so far, everything I've done in my apartment has been pretty easy, um, pretty new. Even hanging them curtains was new for me, but I, I was able to accomplish it. And hanging those those floating shelves was kind of new, but it's not that hard. Or even hanging my, my, my mirrors in my apartment haven't been so difficult. But you know, it's a difference of like nailing something into the wall. And there's another difference of like screwing something into your ceiling. <laughs> Okay, but I really wanted to hang the hanging plant in my bedroom. I feel like it'd be like a nice touch to it. We'll see how this works. Yes, I am nervous. <laughs> but this is considered a large white ceiling hook. So I know typically maybe someone should be doing this in their actual home that they own and I'm doing it in my apartment. But let me tell you something, I'm paying right here. I call it my home. I could say I'm going home, so I'm gonna treat it like my home. And I already paid a security deposit anyway, so at this point it's like, <laughs> you got my money, I'm making my money back because I haven't really like messed up my apartment, but I'm pretty sure they'll like have like some fines for me to, to pay off or they're gonna charge me for, but nothing, no damages I've done here has been like detrimental to the point they can't fix it. So if anything I could say, quote unquote damages, has just been me screwing holes into the wall. Yeah, like my mirrors, my hanging mirrors, and and I'm, I've seen worse that people have done to apartments. This is not even close to it. Um, but the, the goal is to take this piece right here, uh, this piece goes into the ceiling. So I'm gonna try to do this step by step. I have my drill over there currently charging. It doesn't really take long to charge. And I bought a while ago these pieces that are supposed to help me when it comes to drilling. So we'll see which one I need. I don't know. I just know my walls are pretty hard to drill through sometimes. So this would be rather interesting to see what's going to happen. But I do not need to make it wide enough for this to get through. Pray for me. <laughs> Pray for me. But it's gonna, it's gonna work. I'm gonna have positive energy, positive vibes. I'm about to watch a YouTube video again about my hanging plant, just to kind of see what the process was. It wasn't hard uh, from what I saw, but let's just hope. I got this. Okay, so now I am back in my bedroom. Wanted to show you guys what it's looking like. You know, still super bare over there. Uh, here is <laughs> what I'm going to be stepping on. Oops, hopefully this works. Okay, good. So over here is where I have like my my chair that I'm gonna be using to stand on to support me. Uh, that's my nightstand over here. And I'm gonna be drilling into the ceiling up there. So. I am assuming that my ceiling is like drywall. So it's not gonna be anything, like I don't think I have any beams or anything. I don't even have a stud finder right now to check, but I'm pretty confident by how everything is built and how it's been looking that it's drywall. So this is the piece that I'm going to go with. And I also have uh, this piece. So this is off of assumption. <laughs> uh, so the goal is to get the piece is to screw through here in the center. So if you guys see, hope you can see it. Yeah. So I'm screwing this in because when it gets into the wall, I'm going to have to clip it in. 
So, for you guys are able to see. Ooh, there we go. So I was going this way. And once I'm able to drill it, it's gonna snap into the ceiling. And then I can get my base piece, that's the hook. I probably should get the hook now, one second. Here we go. Okay, so as you were showing, this right here. Good, all right, so this right here, and the hook will go this way. The hook will then, <laughs> let's try that again. And the hook should be able to screw in. There we go, that way. And it'll hang from the ceiling. Um, so this is how it's supposed to look. Now, I'll see how this goes. Let me get my drill ready. And let's see me doing this. You know, it's, it's about 10. I wanted to be respectful to my neighbors. I didn't want to make too much noise. Um, but it's 10 o'clock, and at this point, I'm sure people are up. Um, they're either already working from home, or um, some people are just chilling in bed because we are still in quarantine at the moment, you know? Um, excuse me, but this does give me time to get this done and not lollygag or play about it. Uh, I actually put this on my calendar <laughs> as one of the things that I wanted to do. So let's see how this goes. Like, pray for me. I am nervous, so nervous. But it looked pretty simple. It looked really, really simple. All right, so I'm back and I have my drill. Uh, let's see, I think this should be a good size to start with. Again, I don't even know what these measurements are. Uh, this says a one eighth, one eighth. I don't know what that means, but okay, thanks, <laughs> you know? So I'm trying to see, I'm trying to tighten it up now. Like I have no clue what the knobs even mean, like for the numbers. This is so sad that I don't know this, but what am I doing? <laughs> so let me um see i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna read the instructions and see exactly what the knob parts mean real quick i have not done this before but i'm gonna just check real quick because i don't want to f up my ceiling i don't okay so apparently i'm definitely slow because i was i had to watch a whole youtube video just now uh and the youtube video told me hey there's a drill setting <laughs> There is a drill setting literally already on here, so just leave it on the drill setting. Who would have thought? Definitely not me. Okay, so um, the instructions did not help me too much. I was like, what is going on here? What am I reading? Like, did not helpful. But YouTube came through again like the goat, and I'm just gonna use a smaller unit first to drill into the wall. Uh, and if I need to open it up, I'll just open it up by spinning it around, kind of like what I saw in the video. Uh, but let's let's get over here and see me, and hopefully you guys can see the process of me doing this. So I'm just gonna pick a random spot. If anything, I could always just move my uh, my lamp somewhere else. So I'm just gonna pick a spot right here. It is exactly what I expected. It's just drywall. So, it's a small little hole right now, but I'm about to open it up. I'm gonna use a bigger piece and see if I can massage it to open up some more to, of course, put the pieces in, but so far, so good. <laughs> okay, so I am back with a bigger drill. So I'm going to see if I can, of course, make it big enough so this can get through the hole. So let's go. took a minute I'm not completely all the way in there uh, I got a lot of like of 
<laughs> the thing on me. It's not perfectly installed, honestly, because I can make it a little bit more into the ceiling. Maybe if I push it in. But the good thing is, I'm probably not going to put a real plant in here. It's just so much, like, of the wall <laughs> on me right now. So, I'm going to try to hang it and see what it looks like right now. Kind of give me like an idea. And I'm going to try to see if I can push it in some more. Um, but this is how it's looking so far. So, that's it in the ceiling. Not super in there yet, but it looks pretty good. Um, honestly, I'm just surprised that I did it. <laughs> okay, that I even got this far. I was so nervous because I was making the hole like so much bigger. Like, okay, how much further I gotta go? How much further I gotta go? But I think if I, I'm gonna put a fake plant in there, so it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna be too heavy. Now, if it was something that needs to be watered and it was like a real plant, then I would be concerned. But I'm not really concerned because I know it's not gonna be super heavy. And I think it's sturdy enough where it can still stay in the ceiling. We're gonna test it out with this right now. And I'm gonna put this in here. I'm just gonna see how it hangs, honestly. Kinda give me an idea. It feels sturdy, and uh, it hangs pretty well. I think I did a decent, I think for now it can stay, right? For now, it can stay. I'm gonna play with it some more. I'm gonna can just <laughs> shove it in there real quick. Cause like I said, a real plant is not going in this. It's just gonna be fake. And I'm gonna leave it at that. It's all for aesthetic, all for aesthetic. Now my real home, it's gonna be different. <laughs> this is my apartment. But my home home gonna be real different, I swear. <laughs> okay, so I think I would definitely call this a success. Like, that's a success. <laughs> it worked, I got it in. I had all, I had like so much drywall on me, it was ridiculous just now. But I do wanna possibly, I don't know what stores are open. I don't know if Michaels is open yet, but I think I might step into Michaels and see what they have in there too. I'm gonna like, play with it again. I feel like it's secure, uh, but I really wanna like push it in <laughs> and see if it's gonna stay. Uh, but I like it, I like it, I love it. It's exactly what I think the room needed. Um, I think I definitely wanna do some curtains and put up um, some curtains next in here. And of course, something about my bed. If I don't do the candle pieces like the way that I wanna do it, I might just put some artwork, but I feel like the candles would look really cute about my bed. Like really, it would set the room off like to another level so that being said i probably gonna end up with some candles mm -hmm. <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video i think we did it although it was like ugh, like not too bad i was nervous i was definitely nervous but i'm gonna do this i'm gonna give this 24 hours right hanging with the way that it is now and then after the 24 hours i'm then gonna like see about if I need to push it in some more, or if it's like heavy, does it look like it's gonna fall out? I'm just nervous about the falling piece of it. I don't think it is, because I feel like the clamp is really in there. Um, I'm gonna tug on it a little bit, not right now, <laughs> but kind of just enjoy the fact that it's up, because it's been on my floor for about pff, months. Like since February I bought it, it's May. So it's going on three months that it was sitting on my floor, but it looks good. It looks. It looks really good. I'm satisfied. Hopefully you guys think it's cute too. Uh, but eventually, you know, as I get the, I think it should be just like two more things I want to do. My curtains and the piece above my bed. And I'm pretty much done after I get out, get that ottoman out of here too. So maybe it's like one, three, three things, three things. I think my room will be set off for a full on detail room, apartment decor uh, video as well. So. Yeah, still in the process. Take your time, like I said. Take your time. And I will see you guys next time. I really appreciate you. You know, guys, I love you. I appreciate all that we do in these videos and hope you enjoy this content. Uh, but I really want to see again, like, when I put this full plant, what it looks like in there. But I'll catch you in my next video on Sunday. So be sure to subscribe, tell the bestie, put your notifications on, all that good stuff because the content is consistently coming, as you can see. All right, um, but I'll see you next time. And as always, love.